Hey, what's up, guys? You just saw me making my coffee here. Trusty coffee cup. I'm old, and it was 9 o'clock, so I was sleeping for a while after work. And I'm here to see Last Exorcism Part 2, and let's just get it right out of the way. Um, you shouldn't call last something the last anything and then have a sequel, I guess, right? Second to the Last Exorcism? I don't know. Whatever. Ashley Bell um, is the only name I know off the top of my head that's in the flick. I like the first film a lot, um, but without the preacher from the first one, Cotton, I don't know if it's going to be anywhere near as good. It's 10 o'clock, so saw the earliest showing I could. All right, guys, I'll be back to tell you what I thought in a little bit. Bye. Hey, guys, just got out of watching Last Exorcism 2. Um, and before I rip on the movie a little bit here... Um, let me just say, the one thing I'm going to say I really like about these movies, The Last Exorcism Part 1, and this movie is Ashley Bell's performance in these movies, I think is pretty strong. She, Ashley Bell plays like a really good, innocent, sort of naive, vacant-looking character very well. And the character of Nell in these movies is a good character because she's very sympathetic. That being said... I didn't like Last Exorcism 2 as much as I did the first one. The first film, I've seen probably like three or four times. I really like the first film. It's a found footage film. This one starts off right away, um, you know, dumping the camera literally. Uh, it starts right after the end of the first one. And, and another thing is, if you haven't seen the first one, you're not going to get really anything out of this film. I don't think I, to have a chance of even enjoying this one, you had to watch the first movie. I'm gonna. That's what I kept thinking when I was watching this movie. So if you don't know the story, basically it's a possession story. Now was this crazy, backwoods sort of daughter of some crazy religious guy. She got possessed in the first film. They tried to stop it in the first film. It didn't really work. I don't want to give you too many details. So she's back in this one. She's on the run from the demon. And you know, is it in her head? Is it the demon? Blah blah blah. It's the demon. You know, that's obvious from the trailer. But there's. Every cliche in a horror movie is in this one. Um, and I know what people are going to be already complaining about is the jump scares. They usually don't bug me, but this one has an extreme amount of jump scares. I mean, a lot of jump scares. It's all jump scares. Um, you know, it's not very scary. Um, it's pretty much what you expect. I'm, I like the ending, but um, just the ending's like completely over the top, which was cool. I like that. But the saving grace is... Uh, Ashley Bell's character um you know that's the only reason if you like the first one to watch it besides that you know it basically kind of boils down to the same thing as the first one by the end of this one and just you know like we said earlier the calling something the last exorcism part two right away is stupid they should have called it the last exorcism now Switzer you know returns or whatever the first scene of the movie is the best scene of the movie uh like I said it starts directly after the first one ends and it has a really creepy first scene, and if you've seen the first movie, you know, kind of makes you think for a second, And but that's the best scene. And the final scene is just, like, over the top and kind of laughable, but I found it enjoyable for a horror fan. It's cheesy, you know. Us horror people, we like our cheesy stuff, so. All right, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, I'm going to give the film 2.5 out of 5, uh, maybe 3 if you're a big fan of the first movie, but if you haven't seen the first movie, watch that one. It's way better. Um and you probably will hate this movie if you haven't seen the first one. A few people left the theater. Um, yeah, 2.5 out of 5. A lot, mostly jump scares. The only saving grace is Ashley Bell. If you're a fan of hers, I think she's a pretty good actress. I mean, I've seen her in a couple things. So, yeah. All right, guys. See you next time. And uh, hopefully you didn't mind the vlog from the car. <laughs> if you've seen the film, tell me what you think of Ashley Bell's performance uh, down below. Okay, guys? And uh, did you did it suck not having the Reverend in this one? All right, guys, see you later. Take care. Good night. Sleep tight. I'm going to enjoy mine. See ya.